Have you ever wondered if a U.S. Marine could take on the U.S. Navy SEAL physical screening test? Well, stay tuned and feast your eyes. We're about to get this video underway. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Matt McDonough. I'm a corporal and marine stationed at Camp Pendleton, California. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm a motor T operator. We're here to do the PST, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how we do. All right, y'all, it is time for the swimming portion of the physical screening test. Now, what the physical screening test is, is it's the test that future sailors will take when they're trying to qualify for special operations and special warfare jobs, such as Navy EOD, Navy Air Rescue, Navy Diver, Special Warfare is SWIC, Special Warfare Combatant Crewman, and SO, which is Special Operator or Navy SEAL. Specifically, Corporal McDonough will be doing his best to qualify competitively for the Navy SEAL standards. Okay, now for a minimum, the bare minimum, you must swim a 12 minute and 30 seconds in this pool. This pool is 20 yards long. The test that we'll be conducting is 500 yards. So you have to swim 500 yards. That's 12 and a half laps in this pool. You will start here and you will end here. Now this is, this goes from three and a half feet to five feet because we're limited on resources, but we're still gonna make it happen, okay? All right, Matt, you have 12 and a half laps. I know the pool is kind of cold right now, but are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right, on the count of three, I'll tell you to go and you can proceed. Ready? Three, two, one, go. He's off. He's off. We got five seconds from the time right now. Well, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. So a small error that he is making is he is bringing his arm out of the water. The combat side stroke, you want to keep your hands in the water. There you go. First left. There you go. Hands in. Hands. Hands in the water. There you go. There you go. Roll, roll. Get that wall come back. Let's go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Go. Use that scissor kick. Push up strong. Push up strong. Let's go. Get it out. Get it out. Touch your side. Touch your side. Damn. Out. Yeah. Oh. 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 I know you're freezing. <gasps> Oh, that water's kind of cold. <sighs> you cold? How did it feel? <sighs> oh, that was not fun. <sighs> All right, <sighs> so let's summarize. The stroke was okay for learning it today. Oh. Here's your goggles. <sighs> the stroke was all right for learning today. What do you think your time was? Oh, bad. The time was 13.39. You can see at the, very, the top of the watch right there. 
13:39. So that's not past it, right? Passing score would be 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Now that's not bad though. It's not bad at all for your first time, but the more you improve, you you will become leaps and leaps faster. You know, minutes and minutes faster. The more your stroke improves, the the good thing is your stroke right now is imperfect. The good thing is when you perfect it more and more, you will cut minutes and minutes off your time. So that's a very good starting time. 13 minutes, 39 seconds. You did not pass the minimum, but you have good starting grounds. Okay. If you wanted to become a Navy SEAL and join the Navy yeah. instead of the Marines. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yeah. So now guys, we're going over to the track. We're gonna be conducting the push-ups, but first you get a 10 minute stationary rest for the physical screening test, but we're gonna be transferring over to the track. We've come to the local high school track to do the push-ups and the rest of the physical screening test. So the next part is you already know the push-ups. Push-ups. I'm gonna show you how to demonstrate a push-up. You're gonna come down. You're gonna, every time you come down, you're gonna hit my fist and you're gonna come back up. You cannot sag your butt up in the air or you can't put your butt up in the air like the downward dog. You can't put your crotch down like this. So keep a straight back the entire time. Are you ready? Ready. All right, y'all. Got two minutes to perform this. Remember guys, the minimum passing is 50. In order to be competitive for these scores, you will need 80 to 100, depending on the circumstance. Are you ready? All right, come up position. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. Six. All the way up, all the way up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 22, 24, 25, 26, all the way up. Nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 30 seconds. There you go, 41, 42, easy. All the way up, all the way up. Lock your arms out, there you go. 50. Go. Two, three, four, five. Easy, easy. Come on, let's go to 60. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, 20 more. 20 more. You've already done it. 60. You have more than a minute remaining. Come on. 64. Push it to 70. Really quick, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. You good? Yes. All right. All right, that is it. So you completed the minimum. You got 74, I believe. Yeah, 74. I don't even know. 74 push. Now I understand, I understand you have an impingement in your chest, right? Yeah, slight handicap. But so 74 push. Recovering from a torn pack. So if you've completed the minimum, so if you're, of course, if you're in the Navy, if you're trying to go into the Navy, you are trying to contract for these jobs. Now keep in mind, I'm not special operations in special warfare, but I have uh, conducted and got contract for Navy diver in which later down the road, I was disqualified from that rate, just to set that straight. So to be competitive, what it is, is in each region, they set up your scores and you have other people competing all across the United States for these rates. So of course, Navy SEALs, very, very competitive. You're competing amongst the most fit people in the entire United States that are going to con try to contract for Navy SEAL. So the minimum to put your scores in to get contracted is 50 in which you completed. Congrats. And I need then, to work on my push-ups. So. It's all good. It's you all think push-ups are gonna be easy and they're not that easy. A, a max effort is, is another beast. Not a lot of people can go the whole two minutes doing solid push-ups. If you can, you're a very fit person. So you have- you have a two minute rest in which now you've rested about one minute and six seconds. Now we have the sit up. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how to do the sit ups. In order to, to pass the minimum, it is 50. In order to be competitive for scores, 80 to 100. So I understand the Marine Corps, you, do, you guys do a lot of sit ups, but it may be a little different than the Navy, so I'm gonna explain it. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the Navy physical readiness test, you can come anywhere from your hip to your knee. The physical screening test is from your knee three inches down. So you have to reach up here. Yeah, also, Marine Corps is the full, full leg. leg too. Yeah. So when you're in the down position, you must touch your clavicle up here. Your hands cannot sag down. Understand the Marine Corps, they make you grab your biceps, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the Navy, it's right here. Touch your clavicle, especially with the physical screening test. Okay, now you're ready. Do you hear? Yep. Cool. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be holding your feet, of course, and we're gonna give you two minutes, okay? Cool. You ready? Ready. On your mark. 
Oh yeah, dude. Bring your feet in together. Right here. Yep. Your mark. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four. Easy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. There you go. Set to 20. There you go. You can rest in the down position. You can rest in the up position. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There you go. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. There you go. 40. You're coming up on 50 seconds has elapsed. You got it. Do that again. 40 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. There you go. Coming up on a minute and ten seconds. Come on, let's go. One, two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. There you go, come on. 58, 59, 60, there you go, come on, 20 more, you got it. You're coming on a minute and a half. Minute and a half, you got 20 more, let's go, push it out. One, two, there you go. Three, come on, four, five, come on, 66, here we go. 67, 10 seconds, 68, 69, 70, get 71, get 71, one more second, one more second, time, 71, here you go, come on, it's a lot different, yeah, lift your knees, yeah, yeah, it is, 71, 71 sit-ups, okay, now you have two minutes, and then we're moving on to pull-ups, but you successfully, successfully completed the minimum, 71 sit-ups. So 74 push, 71 sit. Now we're shooting for pull-ups. The minimum pull-up is 10. So remember that. All right, let's go to pull-ups. All right, y'all, after the sit-ups are conducted, you have two minutes to transfer over to a pull-up bar. So now we have max pull-ups. This is not a timed event, but as soon as you let go of the bar, or if you perform an incorrect pull-up, it doesn't count or your time stops, if that makes sense. So as soon as you stop performing correct pull-ups, your count stops. And when you let go of the bar, it's over with. Okay, so I hope you, you understand that. I right? feel confident in this, right. yeah. Cool. I'll be he, he's a calisthenics guy, so this is, I expect, at least 28. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Oh, he's like the easy, okay. Nah, I don't know about easy, but. All right, go ahead. Hop on the bar. The, you, you know the way the game is played? Locked out. All Locked out all the way, chin above bar. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, easy, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, he's not even breathing, seventeen, eighteen, there you go, nineteen, twenty, bang that twenty just like that, let's go, come on, twenty-one, twenty-two, come on, you got it, you got it. 23, 24, come on, you got it, 25, no kipping, come on, you got it, three more, three more, you got it, 25, all right, that was good. by the way, the minimum for Navy SEAL is 10, the minimum, I usually get way more than that, the minimum for every other rate, explosive ordnance disposal, air rescue, dive, and Swick, I believe, is six. Swick may be six or ten. I'm not 100% sure on that. I feel like all the other exercises just drain me. That, that was like. Yeah, the, the thing that gets you. It's never that hard. The thing that gets you is the swim because you're using a lot of your lats when you're conducting a combat side stroke. So that was 25. That was, that was good. That was definitely more than I could do. That Fresh. Was less than I thought, though. So next we have the run. So you have a 10 minute break between the pull ups <sighs> and the run. Next is a mile and a half. Can you do it? Yeah, I'll, I feel like I'll be okay with the run. Good. Well, I'm pretty gassed already. All right, let's do this. 
All right, Matt, so you've completed the swim, the push-ups, the sit-ups, and the pull-ups. Now it's time for the mile and a half run. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. You say you're a quick runner, right? I try to be. Let's find out. All right, so you're going to line up right here? Yep. Right on that arrow. It's going to be six laps, guys. Six laps is a mile and a half. We're going to time. I have the time right here. I'm going to go on you. Let me know when you're ready. All right. We'll find a place Let's go. To put that Three, two, one. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, you got the timer right here. Got the Garmin Phoenix 3HR. Everybody asks about my watch. It's the Garmin Phoenix 3HR. Okay, no more questions. I'm just kidding. All right, here he is. He's he's got a pretty good start. Pretty good run. This guy's a runner. Look look at that stride. Let's go. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got two more left. Let's go. Let's go. You gonna let me beat you? Come on. Let's go. I always say God made me to run. He didn't make me to be big. I've been trying to be big for the past few years. But running still in my blood. I can do it. I'm gonna race him this next time around. That's a nice drive you got there. You gonna race me? Come on, I need to pick it up. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Alright, one more. Come on. Let's go, Matt. Let's go, Matt. Coming in strong. Coming in strong. Finish strong. Here we go. Let's do it. Bam. Pop. Woo. Let's don't tell him yet. Nine minutes and ten seconds. That's a very quick run time. How do you think you did? Piece of cake. You said piece of cake? Piece of cake. I'll go ahead and tell you. You did very well. Can you guess your time? Uh, 10 minutes. A little bit quicker than that. Nine Come minutes. On. Amp yourself up. Yep, nine minutes and what? There you go. Nine minutes, 10 seconds. That's good. Give me oh, right here. Fantastic. So guys, results are in. He has completed the physical screening test. Need to work on your swim a little bit more to be yeah. qualified or to be more. in competitive numbers to earn a Navy SEAL contract in the Navy. Yeah, I'll keep, keep that in mind. Yeah, but yeah. but Marines, they don't have you, you guys don't have any specific uh, swim training. No, do you? not at all. So we have a little bit in the Navy. We have to jump in a pool and. Well, actually, yeah, you have to swim like bi yearly. Do you? There's a swim test. Okay. Yeah, but it's, you have camis on and stuff, and it's not the distance that y'all do. Yeah, it's probably the same, probably the same amount of swim training. But we also have a level two swim. I'm sure you guys have that too. Some, yeah, advanced somewhere, swim pool. Somewhere in some MOSs. Yeah, I need to right. swim more. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you a quick breather, and then I want to race you. Okay. I want to do a sprint. I'm going to do like maybe a 40, 50 meter sprint. Let's do it. Or 40, 50 Ooh. yard sprint. Let's All do right, it. Let's, do. let's wait a second. All right, we're going to cut to the sprint. Three, two, one. All right, y'all. We're out here filming a video. We're filming uh, Matt McDonough, U.S. Marine attempts the physical screening test for the Navy. Now he challenged me after a mile and a half run. He challenged me to a 50 yard sprint. I haven't sprinted a long time, but he just ran a mile and a half. So we'll see who's got the handicap here after uh, I win. Okay. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's do this. All right, so it's a 50 meter right here. We're gonna start at the 10. We'll run to the 50. Isaac, capture the winner. Photo finish. Hold on, hold on, I'll say go. Three, two, one, go. Ah. Ah. Did I get you? Yeah, you got me. Get out of here. I don't like to lose. I'm like, oh. He beat me. He beat me. He's, he's quick. Have you ever wondered if 
a U.S. Marine can take on the Navy. Why are you putting me on the spot like that? Have you ever wondered if a U.S. Marine could take on the Navy SEAL physical screening test? Well, stay tuned. All you people out there with your couch potatoes eating your ice cream with your potato chips, feast your eyes. If a U.S. Marine could take on the U.S. Navy SEAL physical screening test, well, we're not dilly-dallying today, okay? Navy SEAL physical screening test. Who cares? Roll the intro. Well, golly, guys, you ever wonder what it was like to get a Marine Corps over in the Navy uh, PFT standards? Well, I'm Austin Alex, and you're coming down to my channel. Come on over to Alabama, and we'll show you how we rock and roll.